Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Today is August 10th, just coming off the inflation report. I just wanted to show you what the headlines were. Okay, so first, uh, Forbes, inflation eased last month more than expected. Here's what to expect. Uh, Bitcoin Magazine, U.S. inflation slowed to 8.5% in July. Bitcoin claims 24000 CNBC, consumer prices rose 8.5% in July. Less than expected as inflation pressures ease a bit. So let's check out what is going on um, right now. And uh, this is my trading basket for all the inflation uh, available ETFs available on interactive brokers. The only two ones that were of significance were these two. Vanguard Short-Term Inflation Protected Securities ETF, VTIP. And the other one, Horizons Kinetic Inflation Beneficiary. So these are uh, obviously stocks or under holdings that take advantage of these. So you could do your own research on that. So here's the tear sheet I've generated for this. Once I can get to it right here. So here's how we could look at it. Very small return. In yellow is the standard S&P 500. So you can see it's perfectly aligned in terms of price action with the S&P 500. So um, it has outpaced it a little bit. Max drawdown is not too bad at 20.63. But as I've learned over the last week or so doing these tear sheets in the different categories that can generate four, is uh, it's not as strong, well, it's doing, no, it's not as strong as you'd think. So you can see here June, negative 12% uh, return for June. Did okay for July, 9.7, and then down slightly 0.59%. So uh, between those two ETFs, as I keep saying, usually these ETFs don't perform all that well. This is just an example. <laughs> There's just better out there that I've uh, hinted at uh, on, my on my YouTube channel, my blog, whatever. So there is that to keep in mind. Um, so inflation is getting lower. Let's check out the highlights of this article here. CNBC, consumer price index rose 8.5% in July from a year ago, below expectations due to slumping energy prices. One of the things that most people don't realize is what drives inflation. It is not... Russia, it's not Trump, it's not um, uh, what, 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 who else they've been, Putin, shortage supply, whatever. Um, it's unreal, it's, it's, it's the debt. I mean, I keep coming back to this um, because if, if you don't know, and, and depending upon what news sources you, you, you read, uh, it's this right here. This is what's driving the national debt in the U.S. Uh, and it can be said right across the Western markets. You got um, $30.63 trillion. Uh, here's the problem. Total U.S. population, 332 million. Workforce, 158 million. Uh, so you really have just roughly about half that are paying uh, for the other half. U.S. income tax earners, 125 uh, million out there. So again, you're, you're less than half of the population is, is carrying uh, the tax burden for the rest of the population. Uh, interest right here, three uh, trillion dollars, and it's going up. Interest per adult, uh, 13.295. So that's what really drives this, because if you look around in the U.S. budget, how many uh, programs out there pays out more than 3.4 trillion dollars in debt okay so someone out there just it, what do they call it modern modern theory it, it's just uh, I could go on but this is always got the in, interesting information here um, 1.28 trillion dollar deficit uh, look at that debt that trade deficit with China, it's unreal, and it just goes up and up and up. Anyways, um, I could go on about, but that's what's driving the inflation, really. Uh, the report was good news for workers who saw a half a percent monthly increase in real wages, and inflation is a form of tax, right? Everybody knows that. 
Um, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna list these uh, in my blog if you want to know more, uh, and uh, leave it at that. And um, yeah, I mean, let's look at the Bitcoin impact. It does somewhat impact um, Bitcoin, even though traditionally it shouldn't, because of uh, it should be independent from whatever goes on in the mainstream economy. But that's changed. Uh, just a highlight with Bitcoin. Usually, I'm finding. The real, it's really correlated to, or indirectly correlated to uh, the performance of the US dollar. Um, I haven't really seen that directly, but that's more impact than anything else. Inflation, uh, here's Forbes, ease last month, here's what to expect. Here's the highlights, which I'll just focus on. Spent Monday, Tuesday, gearing up for the inflation report. And as an economist, uh, expectation showed C July CPI easing. Falling gas prices, which I'm sure uh, everyone's seen. Though dis disappointing company earnings led the market to close mostly flat, which is true. July, August, and Jobs Day expect to inform the Fed's upcoming rate decision in, in September. So what they are predicting towards the end of the year, if this inflation number comes down each month, you can expect the interest rate to go down. But I don't know how they're going to fight this. Uh, politically, there's a lot of other reasons for it. Um, we'll just say overlords, probably the best way to put it. Anyways, we'll leave it at that. And thanks for watching. If you want to know more about what I do and you want to get some free books, trade like a boss, quantlimes.net slash books is where you go. Fill in your info. All your info is kept private as well. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.